Welcome to Learn Biology and today we will be discussing basic chemistry. Now what does chemistry have to do with biology? Well chemistry is the study of matter and energy and the interactions between them. So it explains how living organisms work. Knowing this we move on to the first thing in basic chemistry which is the atom. The atom can best be defined as a tiny particle that makes up every piece of matter in this universe. This idea was introduced by a Greek philosopher and scientist named Democritus and through his and other scientists work throughout the 17, 18 and 1900s the current model of the atom is displayed right here. So the atom is known to consist of three parts the proton neutron and electron. The proton is known to have a positive charge, the neutron is known to have a neutral charge, and the electron is known to have a negative charge. Now within an atom there is this thing called a nucleus. It is a dense positive center consisting of the protons and neutrons. It is in the center and around it are electrons that orbit the dense nucleus. Now there is an issue here and that is that this can cause a misunderstanding. The proton actually in short the atom is a very 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 small particle and weighs close to nothing. To be exact the proton weighs one approximately 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms and there has been a unit used to describe the weight of the proton and neutron by the way these weigh approximately the same and that is the AMU 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms equal one atomic mass unit. The electron is extremely small compared to the proton. The electron is like a little baby in front of the giant proton and it weighs approximately 9.109 times 10 to the negative 31st kilograms. That is the weight of an electron. So that is basically describing the atom. And knowing what an atom is, we can move on to the next thing, which is an element. So an element is a substance consisting of identical atoms and cannot be broken down cannot be broken down. So here below as an example we have oxygen and using the periodic table we can see that this is the atomic number and this describes the number of protons so plus four protons mass which equals protons plus neutrons so P plus N. Um, but going back up here Protons are the subatomic particles that classify what the element is and this is again how the periodic table works. But the thing is that each atom in an element has to be identical. So the element oxygen has uh, identical atoms which consist of eight protons each. And here below if we do basic math we can figure out that uh, the atomic mass is approximately 16. There are eight protons, so that means there are eight neutrons. So each atom in the element oxygen has eight neutrons. However, there are these things called isotopes, and below we'll be using the example call of carbon. Now the standard carbon element is called carbon-12. This is what is used on the periodic table. It consists of six protons and six neutrons. However, 
there are these isotopes of carbon which are called carbon 13 and 14 and these are the variant forms of the element what this means is that the element remains the same by having the same number of protons so as we can see carbon 13 and 14 both have same number of protons as carbon 12 however the mass of the uh, carbon changes by having various numbers of neutrons so carbon 14 has 8 neutrons and carbon 13 has 7 neutrons so isotopes again are variant forms of, of elements formed by the change in neutrons so change in neutrons thank you for watching learn biology and we'll be continuing with basic chemistry and the uh, next video thank you again